Hello everyone, my name is Sebastian. Today I'm going to introduce you to our Bolt series. I will show you all the individual modules of the machines and then we're going to have a detailed look on them. For the introduction of the Bolt series, we will roughly orientate ourselves on the powder chain. That means we start on the left with our printer, the Mprint Plus. Right here we have our powder supply. Especially noteworthy is the cartridge system, which is really convenient to use. And in this powder supply, we have five of these powder cartridges. In this case, right here, we have aluminum powder, which is really easy to handle. Uh, in one cartridge, there are two and a half kilo of aluminum. In case of stainless steel, the total weight would be 11 kilo, which is still possible to handle. And with five cartridges in this revolver, you can normally build a build height of 150 millimeters. With our cartridge system, we have greatly reduced the direct contact with the powder. Basically, you have two situations where you get in direct contact with the powder. Uh, the first situation is when you open the process chamber and the second situation is when you get a new cartridge of powder and you screw it to the interface. So fresh powder comes in these white containers. Um, you take it and screw it to this black interface and then lock it with a green safety ring. Both the white container and the black interface are equipped with an NFC tag so the machine knows automatically if it is the right powder and which filling status the cartridge has. So the machine automatically adds fresh powder to the building process um, as soon as it is needed. The second station is our machine interface, the HMI. Um, in terms of design, it is really reduced uh, to the minimum. Um, it reminds you of a to-do list. Um, so you don't forget any of the steps. It leads you through all of the steps. You tick all of them if you have completed it. So the risk of forgetting something is really reduced. You don't need a big expertise to, uh, to start a build job. Um, which is really, really convenient to use. On the Mprint Plus, you can also do some maintenance uh, on your own. Um, the nice thing is uh, that there is some step-by-step -step introductions on the HMI, for example, for the change of the coder lip. In the next step, I'm gonna introduce you to the process chamber. You can see it right here in the front you have the gas extraction tube, which you can take out to have a better accessibility, uh, for, ex for example, when you clean the process chamber. On the left of the process chamber, you have the powder dosing system, which ensures a continuous powder flow during the building process. Right here, we have the coater. Um, the coder applies the powder over the substrate plate, or also called base plate. It moves from left to right, so from the powder dosing to the overflow. What you cannot see is the laser. It is on top of the process chamber and is, of course, uh, the most important tool during the melt process. To ensure that you always uh, have the whole substrate plate covered with powder, you have a bit of excessive powder. This excessive powder is spread by the coater uh, into the overflow slot. From here, it falls down into this funnel and from the funnel in an overflow cartridge. So basically, we have two different types of cartridges. One type is the overflow cartridge with a black, um, black ring and the black stripes and the other type of cartridge is the fresh supply cartridge with a green coloring. Um, so you can directly see as an operator um, which type of powder you have, but the machine also reads um, which type of cartridge uh, is there by using the NFC tag. So how does the LPVF process in our Mprint Plus basically look like? 
um, you have right here the substrate blade or the base blade where you have a really tiny uh, layer um, of, of powder, of metal powder. The laser on the top of the process chamber melts the powder where you want to have the solid part. And uh, after one layer, the substrate blade goes down by a, high, uh, by a height of 20 or 40 micrometers. Um, powder is spread all over your substrate blade by the coater and then the melting process takes place again and this layer by layer um, generates your 3D printed part. After your printing process, your part is down here in the build module and surrounded by loose powder. And to get rid of this loose powder and to, to uh, have your, your printed part, you need to transfer your build module to our unpacking and sieving station, the Ampure. So first of all, you have to disconnect the plug on the build module. Then you put on a safety cap. Afterwards, you lower the levers uh, on the left and the right side of the build module. And then with the help of a trolley, you transfer the build module to the Ampure. Right here we have basically the same system as in the printer, the Mprint Plus. You disconnect the safety cap of the build module, put on the plug, and then you can fix the build module with the uh, help of the levers left and right to the build module. With the doors closed, You can use the gloves to operate the button, buttons in the back of the unpacking chamber. At this point, your part is still surrounded by the loose powder. This powder can then nicely be brushed away um, to an overflow slot on the right of the unpacking chamber. From the overflow slot, the powder falls down in an overflow funnel and down to an overflow cartridge. Powder residues on your part and in the unpacking chamber can be removed by the integrated vacuum cleaner connection. Um, so again, as soon as you open the door, um, all the powder should be removed and you have really minimized powder contact. Um, the focus is on a really easy operation for the user. On the left side of the Ampure, you have the sieving station. On the upper position, you have a slot for the overflow cartridge. You have to take them off right here. Put it in, connect it, and as soon as the machine recognizes that there is a full overflow cartridge, and an empty supply cartridge, the sieving process starts. The user doesn't have to do anything. It will stop sieving automatically as soon as either this is empty or the supply cartridge is full. After the sieving process, the supply cartridge can be returned to the powder cycle. That means that only really a little amount of powder is lost and has to be disposed. Our color coding system for example, the green uh, handles and levers right here communicate directly with the operator so he knows exactly where an interaction has to take place and um, this really minimizes um, errors and uh, you don't forget to do something or where your interaction has to take place. You don't need much to operate the whole bolt series. 
It's on the one hand a 230 volt power supply, inert gas supply. The footprint of the Ampure and the Mprint Plus uh, really fit on the Europallet, so it's really easy to transport and it can be easily moved to the place of use with the help of wheels on the bottom of the machines. So as you see, the whole bolt series is designed very simple. It's a really simple, uh, operatable machine. Not a great deal of expertise is necessary to get successful build jobs. Um, so it fits to as many applications and industries as possible. So thanks a lot. I hope this was interesting for you. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them.